Subscribers to our channel are probably familiar with the concept of tiny homes. Well, these little cabin designers are taking that concept and adding unique features, letting the homes float on water and maneuver the waves. Welcome aboard our houseboat and floating homes list. I'm Glenn, and let's dive in. Number 10. This quaint little wooden cabin looks like it could be tucked away in the mountains with its walls of cedar and plywood, but it is ready for the open water. The Le Corac was designed by Quebec boat builder Dagno. You can pick either of two models. The P-Series version is set up for fishing, and the V, or holiday version, is decked out for a weekend of relaxation. This model is the larger of two available with a 30 by 10 foot deck, a large front open patio, and large sliding glass doors. It has solar panels for electric power and is moved by using an outboard motor on the rear. Number nine. Central London is the current mooring for this custom-made one-bedroom houseboat that is for sale. It is called the Dusky Parakeet, designed by 3144 Architects. The boat measures 60 by 12 feet with 470 square feet of living space and is termed a wide-beam canal boat. The designers paid careful attention to detailing and craftsmanship and said every fitting has been handmade from the finest materials. Powering the boat is a diesel engine and an electric bow thruster. It also features solar panels and an abundant water storage tank. The boat can run 100% off the grid. Number 8. Listed for sale by a specialty realty company in Seattle, Washington, is this two-bedroom houseboat on Lake Union. Ginger was built in 1985 and completely redone in 2015. It has expansive rooftop and front decks with unobstructed views into the lake. Featuring paneled exterior walls with large windows and a full-length sliding door, the 575-square-foot living area includes a complete kitchen two bedrooms, and a full washer-dryer and dishwasher. Number 7. This one-bedroom boat is also moored on Lake Union in the Seattle, Washington area. Built in 1987, it has 354 square feet of space aboard and offers its residents and guests a tranquil city escape. It has a bright red hull and red and blue accent colors. The interior is just as quaint, with wood panel walls plus a soaking tub and a sun deck on the roof. I'm Allie, and it's Mind's Eye Trivia Time. By looking at just these images, do you know what this is and where it's from? Leave the correct answer or your best guess in the comment section below. Number six. For a more contemporary design for fun on the water, this is a new, smartly designed houseboat built by Black Swan Marine. It is a 30-foot-long houseboat intended to carry up to six persons. It's maneuverable over the waves using a 60-horsepower outboard gasoline motor. Dark brown and white wall panels are punctuated with large circular windows, which makes this boat especially eye-catching. 
It's also fitted with a full-length top deck accessible from an exposed circular staircase. The boat features the latest in high-tech navigation tools in the cockpit as well as an MP3 player with Bluetooth. Number 5. A floating home called a classic two-story Seattle houseboat is floating on Lake Union in the Seattle, Washington area. It has the name of Rutabaga and was built in 1983 and was completely redone in 2014. It features a large bedroom deck on the top floor and features a wooden plank roof and pastel green classic wall treatment. Its exterior features brown horizontal siding and it sports a full kitchen with a washer-dryer combo and a dishwasher. It has 413 square feet of space and the dock entrance has a gated entry. Number four. This floating home is marked by two huge two-story windows, which accentuates the transparent design of the house. The design keeps the floor of the living area close to the water level and the garden level behind. The home also features a full front deck and a second-story balcony overlooking the water. Number three. UK designer and builder Turnerworks are trying to create movement toward a new way to create sustainable living solutions. They are developing an open source blueprint for housing that is carbon neutral and self-sufficient that everyone can reproduce with plans available for download. The lightweight house can be supported on a variety of structures, including a base within a floodplain, on piles, or even on a floating pontoon. Number two. A new way of living on the water is being touted by the designers behind this sleek yacht houseboat. It creates an entirely new lifestyle, offering people a choice to live wherever and however they prefer. Overblue combines a power catamaran with a houseboat into one beautiful design. It provides better stability and lowers lateral wind sensitivity. Due to lower hydrodynamic drag, the houseboat is also more fuel efficient. Six different lengths and models are being offered, one of which even features a penthouse. Here's a refreshing idea, movable hotel rooms on the water. Salt and water architecture and yacht design have a new project, the very first floating hotel with catamaran apartments. The floating hotel is based on two parts, the central floating construction and apartment catamaran units. Each apartment is an innovatively designed catamaran that can be easily separated from the dock and navigated. Number one. This unique floating island offers more than 10,000 square feet of living space and rooms up to 12 people, as well as four staff members. It offers all the luxury of a hotel suite, plus a lot more, including a covered barbecue area and jacuzzi. The lower deck features a large entertainment venue with comfortable seating. Located on the main deck are an exotic aquarium, a large TV, a sunroof, a full kitchenette, a seating area, and a bar. The innovative design promises island living more comfortable than just about any luxury yacht, at cost-effective purchase and maintenance. The island is also termed green, 
because of its eco-friendly features, such as using excess energy to treat salt water to make drinking water. It is powered by a wind energy system, as well as solar panels making the most use of daylight.